Breaking parts cleaner, carbon choke cleaner. They both basically do the same job, so does it really matter when we use these two and where? Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. And if you happen to find some value in this video or this video helped you out, we just ask that you'd hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out as well. Now I know that this may seem like a silly video. We're talking about breaking parts cleaner and carbon choke cleaner. We know that they both do basically the same job. They clean off grease and grime. There is two main differences that we really need to talk about with these two. Now I've gone around, asked a few different people, a couple of people in particular that are mechanics, hey, what do you know what the exact difference is between breaking parts cleaner and carbon choke cleaner? And honestly, the most common answer that I get is, yeah, you use carbon choke cleaner when you're working on a carburetor and you use breaking parts cleaner everywhere else. So let's go ahead and jump right into the boring part of this. And it may be interesting to you, I know it was to me, but the science and the chemical formulation of these two. Now I'll put up a couple of charts here to show you the actual breakdown of percentages of what these two are made up of. But first, let's talk about the carbon choke cleaner. So what we're going to have in here is we're going to have acetone, heptane, toluene, and carbon dioxide. Now, the heptane and the acetone are just going to be solvents that are used in this to help clean. The toluene is a chemical that is put in there. It's an aromatic chemical to give this that paint thinner smell to kind of, you know, let people know, hey, this is some stout stuff. So, you know, stay back from it. And then also you're going to have that carbon dioxide, which is going to act as the propellant. The one thing different, different chemical wise that we're going to have in the Bregan parts cleaner is methanol. Now, why that makes a difference here between the two. Methanol is really bad for rubber. So if we're talking about whenever we're working on a carburetor, we're talking about rubber gaskets, we're talking about being able to seal that carburetor off well, we definitely wanna stay away from the break and parts cleaner because that methanol will cause those seals and different rubbers to deteriorate and swell. So that is one of the main differences here between the two. Now the other is one that is not based on the chemical formula, but based on how the chemical reacts and evaporates once it hits the surface. So the difference between these two is that with that methanol, this one is going to evaporate a lot cleaner. The breaking parts cleaner is gonna dry up and be basically completely clean and clear and leave that surface just as clean as you could, as you could want it. Now, whenever we move to the carbon choke cleaner, the one thing about it is, is that it is going to leave a bit of a film. But now this is good for in our carburetors and choke systems because if we have that little bit of film, we're going to be able to help deflect some of those sticking particles that are in that carburetor to help it last longer and stay cleaner longer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spray a couple of sprays here on the table of both of these, the breaking parts cleaner and the carbon choke. Let those sit. We're going to watch those evaporate in real time here. We'll actually probably speed it up just a little bit. We're going to watch those evaporate. And then I've got a little test here to hopefully show you so you can see just exactly the filminess that I'm talking about and how clean the breaking parts cleaner is going to be. Okay, so we're going to give our first spray spot here of the carbon choke cleaner. And then we'll give a spray spot here of our breaking parts cleaner. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the timer here and we'll see just how long it takes each of these spots here to evaporate. Now, if one evaporates quicker than the other, I will hit the lap button so that way we can see when the other evaporated first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit here of these carpet sprinkles. I'm gonna dash just a little bit on each spot and then blow those off and see what kind of retention we get on each spot to hopefully show that filminess here of the carbon choke cleaner versus the break and parts cleaner. And then further explain a little bit about why this is good in both areas. <laughs> All right, so now that we've had the carpet sprinkles both placed on to the different spots, we've blown off the excess. Now what I'm gonna do is just simply take my hand and do a wipe test right over the top here. So now you can see just how much is left over here on the Brigham parts cleaner. Then if I go over here to the carbon choke cleaner, 
I've got a lot more residual, a lot more big particles that are coming off. And I'm not able to get as much off here as I am on the break and parts cleaner. Even if I rub over it again here with the other hand, I'm still just getting a lot more residual, a lot more resistance here. It's sticky as I'm going across it over here on this side. And it's clean as I'm going across it over here on the break and parts side. So as I rub over this multiple different times here, you can see that with the break and parts cleaner, it's going away a lot easier than if I go over it here with the carbon choke. I know that question's coming. Why in the world would I want to use a cleaner that's going to leave a film on whatever I'm trying to clean? But let me try to explain is that whenever we're talking about carburetor components, we're talking about fuel that's constantly being ran through this carburetor, constantly going over these parts, these, you know, the interiors of these carburetors, the gaskets that this may be passing through and to have that protective coating inside that carburetor where that fuel is constantly going is going to be a good thing as it like i said it's going to deflect those particles instead of trapping them here on this rubber surface being inside that metal or aluminum carburetor it is going to help deflect those particles keep those moving and keep that junk from building up within your carburetor now on the break and parts cleaner it's going to be a lot cleaner like we said it's going to evaporate and not cause things to stick to it so whenever we're talking about doing things as cleaning parts, cleaning brakes. We don't want that film for those outside exposed parts to be able to hold on to them, keep them sticking to it like we saw on the carbon choke cleaner to have a problem with keeping that friction. Whereas if we had a film on those parts, on those brakes, all that's going to do is cause us problems going down the road. So in recap guys, that is going to be the difference. Methanol in the brake and parts cleaner, no methanol in the carbon choke cleaner film here, no film here. So basically use these where they're directed. Anytime we're talking about any type of cleaning agent, make sure and use them as they are directed. So guys, like I said before, I hope this video helped you out. I hope you were able to find some value in this video. And if you did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out as well. And also guys, if you're looking for any parts, maybe it's gonna be some of these cleaners, maybe it's gonna be parts for either your lawnmower, your gator, your tractor, your uh, compact construction equipment, whatever those things may be, make sure to go check out 247parts.com and I'll leave a link down in the description below to that. And then also while you're at it, guys, if you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below and make sure to go check out our other how-to channel, 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.